cauliflower. It's not a bad vegetable. It's just cooked that way. I mean, I'm sure you've had cauliflower in the past where you didn't like it at all, and you're just like, I'm not going to eat that anymore. Well, cauliflower is a very healthy vegetable. It's good for you. And one of the great things about it is it can be a substitute for uh, starchy foods for, for people who are diabetic or people who are just trying to do the low carb thing. So what we're going to do today is we're going to make some uh, fried rice using cauliflower for our rice. Uh, we're we're going to flavor it really well. We're going to do it right and it's going to be delicious. Uh, now, one thing I want to let you remind, let you in on, uh, there's a bunch more of us making uh, recipes with cauliflower. Some are healthy, some are not. And we're going to put a link to that in the show more information. And we'll put a link to it probably at the end of the video as well. There, there may be an end card to other videos. Anyway, what I'm doing here is I'm chopping it into smaller portions and putting it in this little food processor. And then we're going to grind it up. Pulse it. Now I don't want to puree it, I just want to break it up. See how I've got it all coarse? That's what I'm looking for. You could go just a little bit more to break it down a little bit smaller, but that'll work really good right there. All right, so now, just like fried rice, uh, it's a way to use up anything that you have left over in the fridge, or you can bulk this up with veggies. You can make this healthy. You can make it unhealthy. I mean, you could just load this with bacon and call it cauliflower and fried bacon and and it would be delicious, but you know, I mean, I'm assuming if you're wanting to use cauliflower instead of rice, you're probably trying to eat this, eat fairly healthy anyway. So you can take a mix of healthy veggies and such, and any any kind, any way you want to do them. Anyway, got a mush, got a couple of mushrooms. They look pretty good. You know, I had some left over from something else I was doing in the kitchen. A great way to use up these last little bits and pieces and such. Anyway, I'm just going to kind of show you how I'm prepping my veggies. Be sure you want to dice up some onion. How fine or how coarse is up to you. Green onion. It's essentially two ingredients in one. The white onion, we're going to chop that up and we're going to put it with our other onion. it takes longer to cook and then the green part this is going to essentially be our garnish it will go in right at the very last little bit of cooking ginger first I'm going to peel it with a spoon and I'm going to take my ginger right over the top of my mushrooms and onions The microplane grater. Got some garlic. How much or how little? Once again, depends on if you're dating or if you're married. I like putting green veggies in it in my fried rice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off this harder part of the stem right there. Now we're going to take our leafy part, just cut that into bigger chunks because that'll wilt down pretty good. And then this stalk part, we're just going to kind of cut up into smaller pieces. So, just for color, I got one of these little sweet baby bell peppers. One of these sweet peppers. Cut the seeds out of here. Cut it into strips. There we go. And just dice it up a little bit. do we'll put that on top of our onions and garlic and everything as well and I want some kind of meat you don't have to I'm using a Chinese style sausage here 
I'm gonna dice this up. Alright, come on, pull apart. One egg, lightly beaten. There we go, that'll work. Alright, while my wok's heating up, I'm going to put some oil around the edges, make sure it kind of goes down, coats everything. And whenever it gets hot, I'll be right back with you. Alright, my oil, I believe I'm hot. Yep, just starting to smoke a little bit there. We're going to go ahead and we're going to cook our egg. Okay. Now our, our egg is ready to come out. We'll put, we'll put that back in here in a minute. Now we're going to put a little more oil in here. And we're going to put our other batch of ingredients, our mushrooms, our onions, peppers, garlic, ginger, And we'll soften this up a little bit. Oh wait, what am I doing? Put that on the bottom. And go ahead and we'll put our cauliflower in. Our cauliflower has, still has to cook. It's not like rice. With the rice, all you really do is just kind of brown it on the outside. But with the cauliflower, you actually have to cook it. Got everything mixed up. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put just a little bit of water in here. And we're going to steam this for a minute. Not long. We don't want to. We don't want to cook it to mush, just like at the cafeteria. We're not doing that. All right. We've been cooking this for about a minute. Let's give it a stir and see what's going on. It's just starting to soften up just a tiny bit. We're going to go ahead. And we're going to throw our sausage in here. We're going to give that just about another minute. So your total steaming time is going to be about two minutes. Alright, there's we're done steaming that. Take this lid and put it over here. Give us a stir. Yeah. It's changed the texture. It's no longer raw. Now, I want a little bit of sesame oil. It doesn't take a whole lot of sesame oil. It goes a long ways, I think. I'm going to put some soy sauce in here. And go ahead, we're going to throw our green leafy veg veggies in. Now after you get done steaming it, you're probably going to have water in the bottom of the pan. Crank your heat all the way to high and just keep stirring it around until that water disappears. It's almost out of here now. It's still trying to get wet. Remember this is a lot of vegetables that are going to release water. We're going to put our green onion in. We're going to put our egg in. Kind of break our egg up. I believe we're done. So, how is it? Let's find out. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's good. It's not all mushy. And it, it's flavorful. And you can, like you said, like I was telling you, you can season this any way you want. I mean, really, cauliflower. It's not a bad vegetable. It's just cooked that way. Give it a chance. Oh, 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 oh,